Hello and assalamu alaikum and in this video we will make a transfer switch between three supplies so let me show you what are the accessories first we have to choose like we are using we will make first the three the circuit for the power diagram so you will understand how we will control this so first we will start from power circuit okay so we will select here contactor okay this is our contactor number one this is contactor number two and this is contactor number three okay friends so now we will make the marking for this this is our km1 okay and this is our KM2, conductor number 2. This is our KM number 3. Okay. So now we have 3 conductor with us. Okay. Now we have to make wiring for 3 different sources. Okay. So I will bring the 3 sources. Okay. This is our source. Source supply I will set here okay after that this is source 2 this is source 3 and we will mark them this is px1 transformer 1 <coughs> this is you will say gen gen 1 okay and uh, this is solar okay so now what we will do we will connect this supply to the contactor so how we will connect we will take the help of line okay and these lines are coming here no problem we will adjust our contactor as per the lines okay after that we will connect our another three lines okay and we will adjust our contactor as per our lines okay so now here we have the third one for solar supply we will use three lines and we will adjust our contactor so this is all so now we need neutral so the neutral wire is here neutral is here okay neutral we will connect in the end so you will know very well how we will connect the neutral for all these three so now these are the three incomers how we will connect to get the common load okay so we will use single wires so you will understand better we'll take one phase from here then this phase wire will go here and connect with this number one then this go here connect with this phase so in this way we connect all the first three phases line one line one now i will connect the line two okay and this is our line 2 then we go here connect our line 2 ok similarly we will go for line 3 connect here line 3 and we connect our line 3 ok guys so in this way we connect all the 3 phases 2 3 supplies and 3 outputs so now from ok so now I will connect my load from here because our neutral is here. So what we will do? We will take line. One. This is line two. And this is line three. And we have neutral here. Okay. <coughs> 
now I will connect our motor to the three phases uh, ok this is our <coughs> motor ok but no need to connect neutral with the motor this neutral we can use another side where we connect the indication lamp when the motor is running ok <coughs> so now let me show you so now I will make the control wiring for this circuit so I move this circuit here so now this side we will make our control circuit <coughs> So guys, the control circuit we will make it like this. <coughs> that we will make supply here. This supply, this line neutral, and this line neutral. Okay. Or also we can make another way, but this is the simplest way. So I will tell you now. So and you see. So also we will name this. I will name this PX1 this is Gen1 and this is our solar <coughs> ok friends now we have three control supplies with us and now I will connect these three supplies uh, as per our contactors so we will take three contactor coils ok so our contactor coils are here so this is contactor coil number one ok this is number two and this is number 3 so how we will make it <coughs> as we have here km1, km2, km3 so I will make the same here make here km1 km2 and km3 ok so now what to do I will show you very very simple way first how to start this and then we will make the full complete <coughs> wiring for this circuit ok but first we have to understand how the circuit will work after that I will make the complete control wiring how we will connect and just now for understanding we will make it very very simple so you will understand ok I will make a little bit zoom out ok so now we need to connect our line line wire is here and we connect this directly to our face is here and uh, this face till here this face till here ok and also we will just add simple now <coughs> we will just add here a simple switch that will help us to turning on and off ok automatic switch I will not put the automatic switch we will connect here simple selector switch ok this is our normally open switch so I will put it here 3 ok 
so first I will this is I will put number T1 no, we will put S1 because this is selector 1 we will put here S2 put here S3 ok so now we will interconnect the remaining circuit ok now you will see we have here wire will connect here and from here connect here ok so this is the first lecture so you will understand how we connect simply ok and then next videos we will know how to connect with the safeties and other options so now this is the first chapter I don't want to confuse you <coughs> so I connect this here this is connected here ok I remove the neutral from here move the neutral from here also I remove this complete neutral wire and then I started from here ok and now I connect all this all the way ok this should be connect here and this will connect here ok guys <coughs> so let me start checking this if I will press switch 1 you see the motor is running now and if I will turn it off switch 2 is off if I on switch 2 your contactor is on and here you see KM2 is on and here S2 is on I will make bigger ok so you will see now once I off this motor is off and now motor is on ok same here S1 with KM1 same here S3 with S3 ok if the S3 is working and if you press S2 ok you see it's working and also all three are close but in electrical this will be get short circuit because we have three separate supplies so we cannot operate these three separate supplies together ok so what we will do we will make we will tell you now how to make interlock ok now we have here KM1, KM2 and KM3 so for understanding you will see any what we want we want that when KM1 is operate KM2 will not operate KM3 will not operate so how it will happen we will use the two normally close contact of these two ok so I will show you how we will do this ok I will remove this line and I will take two normally close contacts ok and I will tell you how to name them K ok the same we will do for the others we will took two to normally close ok and ok same for the last one and then I will tell you how we will make the <coughs> Uh, marking for this ok and ok now we will make the marking because this is KM1 so we want to interlock with KM2 and KM3 so we will put here the number KM2 first interlock with KM2 and the other interlock with KM3 ok here we what we want we want this to interlock with KM1 and KM3 so what I will make here KM1 and here I will make KM3 ok understood so now here what we will make KM1 and here we will make KM2 one more important thing now you see all these contacts are 11, 12, 11, 12 no we will not make it like this KM1 we are using here 11, 12 so here KM1 we will not use the 11 and 12 
we will use 21 and 22 similarly here we are using k2 11 12 and here we will not use k k2 sorry km to 11 12 here we will use 21 22 because this is km2 and for km3 11 12 here and km3 not 11 12 here here we will use 11 22 21 22 okay friends this is all set so now we will make the wiring and then we will check okay 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 done now here here and here okay now here here and here understand guys now we will interlock all the circuits so now it is time for testing so I will make a little zoom out so you will see now a uh, little bit zoom in ok so here here we are seeing all the circuit <coughs> so now I will start simulation so now I will once I will press km1 you see these two contacts are on so even if I will press this this will not on you see km2 is not on even I will press km3 it is not on so this is called interlocking now I press this 3 even if you will see I will remove this so what is happening this is a fault circuit okay so first I will if I will on this you see here km2 and km2 is on so in this case if I will turn on this it will not through the power if I will turn on this it will not turn on the power okay only the first priority is on okay guys so now what I will do I will turn on this so you see this all these two are open even I press this even I press this it will not affect anything okay and you see the motor is running so this is the basic circuit first uh, today I will discuss with you and you can consider is as a uh, interlocking and basics so we will learn in this way other videos also and we will see how we will make different circuits but first I want to teach you the basics so this is our first basic chapter I hope you guys like this and uh, hopefully we will do more videos on this and so you will understand and we will work on it so thanks for watching power learning channel if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe so hopefully we will come back with a new video very soon thank you very much assalamu alaikum